Hey guys, every which way just ended yesterday, and might I just say, I was really emotional yesterday, like really, I was crying, like, this show was my favorite show ever, so I just wanted to do like a summary of the whole season four, okay, so here it goes. After, um, ja um Emma chose Jax, she, they got out of the pool after, you know, their kiss, and then she was just like, Emma was like, okay, I need to see if Daniel's okay, but he's like, who's Daniel? And first of all, she thinks he's kidding, but then she realizes he's serious. So she goes home and tries to figure out what just happened and realizes that all of her other friends do not know who Daniel is. So she goes to Maddie and, and asks her for the number of the PI, it's like a, like a messenger kind of thing, and the messenger kind of PI or whatever, finds where Daniel is, gives it to Emma, and then they drive off to where he is, um, the Everglades. So, um, when they get there, Daniel doesn't even know who Emma is either, and she breaks the she makes a continuum break by telling him about his old life, which Lily told her was extremely dangerous, and she only has five days for him to remember who he really is, or he's going to disappear. Everybody's, um, all her friends are like, Emma, this is really, really selfish. Like, you're just, you're risking a boy's family. He's happy. He, he, he was really happy there. So, after the five days, after trying so hard, lots of things happen. There's a crossover special with Talia in the kitchen. That was, like, a whole dramatic factor. They ate this magic food, and they're saying things that they don't really mean. Well, they mean it, but they keep it inside of them like the, like an honesty kind of spell she put it in the food because Talia has magical powers so after the fifth day um when there was like a few minutes left I have the video on my channel she's like oh you're my first love I care about you more than anything in the world and he kisses her I have that video and Jax sees it and thinks the wrongest things he feels so hurt so this is like Back to season two when he kissed her and Daniel sees, like, wow. I was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, I have to record this. So, um, after they kiss, the continuum break is over and he finally remembers who he really is. He finally remembers that she chose Jax over him. He was really upset. He's like, why did you bring me here? I was happy my old life. I had Mia. I had everything I ever wanted. And she feels really bad. And then, um... Okay, things are happening with Jax. He finally, um, you know, Jesse, he has a sister. She, He found him in her kitchen one day. I have that also on my channel. Um, they're getting to know each other, and Jesse finally tells him that their mother is still alive. So he goes out, and he finds his mother, and he has so many questions. Like, he took, she took Jesse when Jesse was just a baby, but he's like, why didn't you take me too? So he's really hurt. And her mother had questions. She's like, "Oh, but you had your you had your powers, and you wouldn't allow me to take you because in your sleep you made like a shield around you." And Jax was like, "Oh my God, why did I do that?" So after they reunited, um, Jax, you know, reunited with his mom and stuff. Uh, after that, it's kind of like um, Emma's like, "Oh, you have your mom back." She feels hurt, too. She wants her mother back because she feels it's unfair that Jax got his mother back and she didn't get her mother back. So she looks through the hex and can't find anything. And when Andy realizes what she's going to do, she tells the hex, don't give her any spells. And so now Andy and Emma are fighting, like, a big time that they're not talking to each other. And Emma's just becoming this, like, rebel Emma. She's going, like, rogue, like, right here. So when she, 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 she and the Hex, Emma and the Hex, they're like, okay, we're not friends anymore. And then just go find Annie, leave me alone. So she goes to Jax's house, and she finds a spell book that's kind of like the Hex, but it's like an evil Hex. So, like, she finds it, and she finds a spell to reverse time so she could go back in time and save her mother. And everybody, but 
um, so to do the spell, she tries the spell, but she's not powerful enough. So she starts stealing people's powers. She steals Maddie's powers, and everybody's like, oh my god, wow, Emma, you're stealing people's powers now. And they're all against her, except Jax, of course. And then, so he's like, oh, I'm with you, with whichever one you choose. So she's like, okay, I just have to do this in time, so I don't lose my friends. So she's like, we need more power. So she's thinking of stealing Jax's dad's power and bringing back the principal to get her power. Like, wow, what if she tries to, you know, destroy the land or whatever, the world? And she's like, that's a risk I'm going to have to take. Like, selfish, Emma, really? So um, she finally um, summons um, the, you know, the principal and guess out of limbo and guess who follows the principal evil emma wow and i was really surprised of that one too evil emma follows the principal and then they're both there and emma's able to um steal their powers and andy's there andy's there she glued her to a chair big story you have to watch it it's like the final episode so after she steals the powers we now know that jack's his dad told him a few days ago that, oh, your mom's a bad witch, and Jax doesn't believe her. He doesn't even believe that she's a witch, but Jax's dad sounds really serious. I believed him, but Jax didn't believe him. So then Jax is like, I know who it is. How can um, my, our mom know what a protective bubble is and stuff and about witches and all this stuff? And then he finally realizes it, and her mom walks in on them talking about it. And so she's now, oh, you know what I'm doing. So she's going to go to Emma, steal all the power from the magic ore that she collected from all the witches, and use it for herself so that she can transfer the power to Jesse and Jax. So she goes over to Emma's house and steals all the power. Now Emma's powerless and everybody else's powerless because she has all, does, she even took the witches at council's powers. Like, she took all this power, and now it all belongs to Liana, Jax's mom. So, um, while, um, Jax was trying to stop her, Liana cast a spell so he couldn't move, right? So Jesse, he's like, oh, it's up to you, Jesse, to go find Emma and warn her. So, um, he went to go, Jesse went to go warn her, but when she got to Emma's house, it was too late. So she went back to her house because she really wasn't feeling well. And so when she go back to her house... Jax realized that she's getting her powers, like sparks were flying out of her hands, and she's getting her powers. It was so cool then. She finally finished being sick, and she was able to free Jax using her powers. So, um, they were able to all meet at the school, where Evil Emma, everyone, they're like, oh, I want my powers. So, finally, Jax was able to get there in time and hold Liana off, like make her still and frozen. And Jesse was able to take the orb, but she didn't know what to do. So, um, Emma's like, take my hand. She gets her powers back. She d destroys the orb and takes all the powers in it. So, when she frees everybody and all of them are together, she's like, um, her guardian, uh, Lily, she's like, why don't you give everybody your powers back? And she's like, but I still need them. And everybody's like, oh my god. They're like groaning, like... After all they've been through, she still wants to go on with the spell. She's like, Emma, they gave her a whole talk about, you know, Emma, Andy's like, it's not a bad plan, it's just a dangerous one, which you're not going to do, right? And she's like, no, you guys are true friends. Even when you were mad at me, you still got, came up together to come and save me. How could I risk that? So she gives everybody back their powers back, but keeps the principles and the evil Emma's powers and then, you know, everything goes back to normal. Liana is sucked into the lockers, and she's in limbo now. That's Jack's mom. And then, so, they all go back home, and Andy sees that after, um, Emma sees that after Andy has risked, risked her life for Emma, she's like, you deserve to be a guardian. So, now Emma is going... I mean, Andy's going to be a guardian now. Um, Jesse's going to Witches School. That's Wits Academy. Um, for It stands for Witches in Training. I don't know what the S stands for. but um, 
So that's where um, the same place where Jesse's going, Andy's going for you know Guardian School. Um, this is where everybody departs. Um, Diego and Maddie and the Panthers are going off to go look for more canines. He knows they're out there. That's where they, when they leave, they hug and stuff. They have a group hug. It was so sweet. I was like, oh my god. I'm try. I'll try to get that for you. I'll try to record that because that was a sweet moment. Um, and then Jax is like, I guess it's only us, and he's like, yeah, and he's like, and I was like, what's gonna happen, and I was like, I know, if we're together, we'll face whatever comes our way, then they kiss, and then they depart, and after that, Andy and Emma's like, okay, we have to go to, uh, you know, um, the Everglades to go visit a friend, because she didn't restore Jax's memory, he's like, okay, he better not not be more than a friend and he's like yeah so they go um they go to everglades they see that jack's um daniel's all right they say hi he doesn't remember them but they know he's happy there they leave um andy goes to witch's academy and then um when she goes to witch's academy in the portal um emma doesn't go with her she just goes to the lockers she's like no, she says hello, hello, and the doors are closing. She's like, I'm supposed to be here. And then this, you know, ice is starting to close up on her through her body, and she's, like, trying to break through. And that's how the episode ends. And this fall, there's going to be a new series. It's a spinoff of Every Which Way. It's called Wits Academy. I'm going to try to get all those episodes for you this fall. Wits Academy, that's going to be my channel now. I'll show you all the stuff in Wits Academy. And then after that, we'll see what my channel goes through. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, summary of Season 4 of Every Which Way. I know you're all really upset, me too, that the show is ending. And um, I hope that you guys just keep watching it. And I still have more clips to give you, so don't think that that's the end of my channel. I'm going to still record some more clips for you. And, um, yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed the summary. And keep watching Every Which Way. Even though it's ending, you could still watch... What I always like to do is, you know, start from whenever a series ends, just go to the beginning, watch it till the end, you know, refresh yourself, always keep that in your mind. Every which way will always be my favorite favorite show. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the summary, and bye. Every which way. Okay, bye guys.